Well, good morning folks, Jay here. Welcome back to the homestead. We have another outdoor boiler video for you today. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that pine is one of the best firewoods you can use in your outdoor boiler. Now hold your, hold your horses there before you start stretching your fingers here and leaving a comment about creosote and all that stuff. Listen, this is a central boiler CL6048 non-gasification unit. These are the old schools. These are like a four barrel V8. They just run, they burn fuel, and there's no issues. Um, those new gasification units, yeah, that's another story. But anyways, pine firewood. Uh, this is a two-part video. I got a question from a subscriber. Jay, that massive pile of firewood, let me overlay a video, uh, or let me overlay a photo right now. I got two, I got three trees actually. One is still on the trailer and the other two I've been burning. I call it day wood during the day. I generally use the hardwood and throw a couple of the pine logs in overnight mixing it. But for the most part, I've been burning the pine during the day. And I wanted to show you guys how well this pine firewood, this is actually, this is hemlock. So this is very dry. This is like a giant Christmas tree wood, if you will. Um, I burn pine, I burn red pine, I burn white pine, I have burned, I haven't burned dug fir, that's not really native to this area. Um, yeah, red pine, white pine, hemlock, but this is spruce, and man, is this stuff burn hot. So the boiler's running right now, first thing in the morning, let's go ahead and see what our coals are doing. Throw some of this spruce pine in, and it's seasoned, it's dry. Those two trees were dead for two years, two, three years standing before they finally took them down. And just, I, I've been doing this for years. I can easily just tell by the weight that this is a nice dry piece of firewood. So let's go ahead and open the door, see what's going on. Let's see if we can uh, shoot this in one take. What do you think, one take video? I would like that. So again, first thing in the morning, we got a decent coal bed. Let's go ahead and move our coals around. I wonder if I could shoot this all in one take, that'd be kind of neat, right? Why not, right? So again, for those of you, I say it every time, pull your fire, if you have one of these battle areas, um, pull your fire closest to the front of the firebox here. You don't want to be wasting wood. I see way too many people, they go hee-ho, and they <laughs> they hum a piece of wood all the way to the back of the uh, boiler. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep your fire close. So we got a pretty good, pretty good uh, jack of coals there. Break it up a little bit. Okay. Well, enough talking about it. Why don't we go ahead and do it? Can you guys see? Let me just check. Make sure you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can see perfect. Um, all right, so again, this is spruce. This is spruce firewood. This is nice and dry. This is going right in the boiler. Snow and all. I mean, this piece, I could literally, it's a pretty big chunk here. It's nice and dry. So again, stacking all the wood right up front. If you listen, you can already hear it. Already hear it roaring. Again, same thing. I'm not He-Man, but this is a very light, very light piece. Same thing, nice and dry. Look at this. This is wild. Let me bring you guys in. Yep, I want to make this one shot video. Wow. I'm not making it up, folks. You hear that cracking? Crack a lack a lacking? This is some beautiful, beautiful wood. Creosote, who cares? This is a non gasification unit. I can scrape it out. I'm actually going to go over that in another video. But needless to say, folks, if you can get your hands... Wow, look at the heat coming out of there. If you can get your hands on um, some nice seasoned pine, or if you have room for it, definitely, definitely split the pine. I don't throw in pine rounds at all. I split all of the pine for this reason. It burns hot, it burns fast. You're witnessing it pretty much live, for the most part. One shot video here. It's good heat, folks. So many people, I got so many comments, pine this, creosote, blah, blah, I waste your time, blah, blah, blah. I scored, I, that's what I was gonna talk about actually. Um, let me move you guys back here. I'm just gonna let that run. So let me see here. Again, one shot video, just for you guys, for the sake of transparency. Let me make sure, yep, we're still going here. So let me check my, my phone here. I don't have my phone. Uh, hold on, I'll have to pause, hang on. Actually, just watch the fire, I'll be right back.
All right, so according to, ooh, I'm actually gonna stand and get some of that heat. According to my photos here, Homestead J posted on, when was this? November 30th, that giant, and I'll overlay a photo, that giant, I don't know if you can see it, a giant log pile, November 30th. And all we have left is what we put in there and one big round here and three splits, one full round, another, wow, th look at this mess. This is still light, but look at how gnarly this piece is. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces of wood left from November 30th to today is... Oh, I should have told you what today was. You guys will see this today. Tuesday, January 10th. So from November 30th to today, we have been burning that pile of wood. I call it during the day, daytime wood, um, to heat the outdoor boiler. This is what I do. I come out here, I throw some pieces in, and it this basically runs all day. The pine is great day wood. I said this before, it kind of eats your coals up. So after this, I'll use the hardwood overnight, come back the very next day, split some of this pine, throw it in, and you got heat, folks. It's awesome wood. If your wood boiler can handle it, I can't complain. You can hear it crackling. You can hear it putting off heat. Obviously, we got the door open for a cinematic, you know, um, what's it called? Video appeal. Obviously, we have the door open, but yeah, needless to say, if you can get your hands on free pine wood, split it, let it dry, mix it in these outdoor boilers this is what i love not to get on a tangent here but everybody says these wood boilers are a lot of work i brought i spent um probably eight hours with dad cutting up those three trees and getting them back here i didn't even have to take the um branches so i spent eight hours of time i have been burning that wood since november 30th it is january 10th again daytime wood mixed in call it 75 25 50 50 <laughs> These people say, oh, these machines, they piss through wood. It's a lot of work. I don't know. I, I kind of beg to differ. That's a whole other argument for another day. But I just want you to say, if you have an outdoor wood boiler, I'm pretty sure the gasification units can burn pine too. Obviously, it needs to be split and seasoned. And I think you can go pretty much 50-50 on that. But if you've got an old dinosaur like this, you're wasting your time passing it up. Of course, would I pick hardwood over pine? Yeah, obviously, any, any person in their right mind would. Am I worried about creosote? No, not at all. Because I do maintenance on this. I scrape the sides. I do the chimney, which will go over. So needless to say, folks, that's all I got for you today. We have the wood stove running in the woodshed. We're going to go do a video in there talking about that because I had a lot of questions on that. But I wanted to give you an outdoor boiler video. I'm going to bring you guys in for a final time lapse of this fire. Thank you guys for watching. Don't shy away from burning pine. I could literally feel the heat from here and I'm standing four feet away from the door. So needless to say, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna move you guys closer. Needless to say, thanks for watching guys. God bless. Let me know what you think. If you burn pine in your outdoor boiler, please let me know. Again, this is spruce. This is the first year I've ever had spruce. We don't have it here on the homestead. We have white pine, red pine, and hemlock. We do not have many spruce. I don't have any spruce technically that I found in the woods. So this is a delicacy for me. So yeah, needless to say, good wood, folks. Let's bring you guys in. God bless. Thanks for watching. We're going to go do a wood stove video, so stay tuned for that next. We have a wood boiler and a wood stove now, so we're doing both. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Let me know what you think. And like I always say, we will see you guys out in the woods. We're going to toss in this ugly piece. Oh yeah, that is some ugly wood, but man does it burn good.